Hey guys, Snav here. I'm back in REPL.IT. This time I'm going to be trying to make a calculator app through Java so I can explain classes. So you see we have a basic script here that will run Hello World. There. Hello World. The way this script, this basic script works is you have the main class main, which is the file basically. Then you have static void main, there's public static void main, which is the function. So in this file, what functions can it run? What basic things can it do? Right here we have public static void. We have system.print.println hello world. So when you run this, this is what happens. You can make objects in Java and give them methods, which are essentially functions like this. And then that is how you get it to run things. So we're, right now we're going to be making a calculator app. So we're going to ask the viewer or the user, what calculation do you want? And right now, because it's going to be really simple, I'm going to be use, I'm making an exponent file. Cal, you know. Yeah, let's make it calculate dot Java. class calculate and then we're going to do public or no, static or let's see the most important thing is we're going to have to figure out what we need so let's say if we're doing exponents uh, so I don't think this will be a static then actually it will win and it will return yeah so public Component, and then int int base int pow. This will be that. Return the zero. Oh, yeah, we need to put type public int. For now, int should be fine. Let's see public int exponent, and then we're going to base. So an exponent is, you multiply that, oh yeah, so pow, int total equals zero for now, total equals pow times Let's see if it's times two, no, no, pow, let's see. It's times base. I'm forgetting how to do this. Let's see. So base times base is squared. And then oh, for, yeah, we have to do an if loop for this. For int i equals. Zero i is less than pow. It's less than equal. Let's see. Yeah, it should be less than or equal to whatever. Oh wait, no, no, no. It goes into a zero. Yeah. I is less than i equals to one. This should work. So again, we're going to repeat this operation for pow times plus equal. Wait, no. Base. Well, are we adding it? Base times base. No, to be do multiply. Mm. This should work. We can test it out. 
So let's say we did 5 times 5 times 5 is 25 times 5 is 125. Do we need an object for that? Yeah, we might have to do static. Look static int exponent. System dot out dot plan. Calculate dot call it exponent. Yeah. Let's rename that actually. Exp. That way we have to type less. Dot exp five three. We made an error. Yep. No semicolon. I'm coming from Python. Yep, our number is very, very off, which means that we did something wrong here. I believe there is a function to automatically do it if you import the math class, but I want to figure this out myself, so we're going to have to keep on trying. So I guess we'll have to go back to the drawing board. Let me open up. Oh, hang on. I have a drawing pad. Uh, where did it? Chrome canvas. Yeah, let's just use this for now. Started. Okay, so let's say we're doing five you know, to the third power. It's going to be equal to five times five times five. So we set the first number, set t equal to total equals to five. Then we multiply it for every time. Okay. Total equals uh, base. Um, plus times base. Six twenty-five. We're still a bit too much. Let's see. So it's equal to one power and base. Wait, int base is five, and as long as i is less. Than... Yep. There we go. This is how you do exponents. In fact, I showed you a trick. If you can't um, mentally recreate what's going on, like in exponents, I struggle with that. What you can do is you can always pull up a drawing pad and help draw it out. Sometimes some people are visual learners. That might help. Uh, I hope part, this is good for part one. I might upload part two later.